Ferguson. You haven't been in a video in a while, have you? Yeah? Have you been in a have you not been in a video in a while? Yeah. Come on, you smell something on me? Start including you in some more videos. I feel like uh I feel like the audience needs to see you. <laughs> I don't think he's happy about being on camera. Yep, there he goes. He's going out for a run. Alrighty guys, so been uh, kind of lacking on the videos lately. Uh, I have one video before this that'll be uh, posted, so you'll see that before this one. So, um, as you guys, if you guys have seen that video, you know I just got this uh, 1979 GT 19.9, and uh, I mentioned in that video that you know I could use a nice little pressure wash and whatnot. So, if you guys can't tell, I already got uh, got the pressure washer out, as you can tell by the mess. And uh, took the uh, pressure washer to her, and uh, this is pretty much our outcome. So, some of the stuff on the hood came off. It's not looking too bad. Um, these decals are just fucking awesome. Um, hold on, let me turn the let me go ahead and turn the light on here so you guys All right, can. So, got some light on the situation. <laughs> it just looks so good. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, She's looking pretty shiny, and I can't, can't, couldn't be any happier. I'll tell you what, that front end, man, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Um, same with this side. Looking pretty good. Um, everything is all nice and shiny. Dash is not bad. Everything, I didn't go with, I didn't bother with that. I don't think I will. That looks like a real pain, so. But. Yep, she's looking good. Look at this freaking decal down here. Just look at that. Yeah, I got a. Uh, I did pretty good on this deal, I think. So, and she's running pretty good too. So, and uh, you guys, I you can't tell now because I washed it, but I have mode with it, and it does fantastic. So, and over here with the SS16. Um, as you can see, we're busy here. Um, I got wind rim shined up. And I'm currently working on the other side. Um, I also did a little waxing on the paint. Um, because if you guys don't know, we do have a tractor show coming up. It is the Dover Steam Show. This thing is going all out crazy with the focusing here. Jeez. Um, but we do have the Dover Steam Show coming up. So I am busting my ass to get these guys, at least this one and the old uh, 1990 detailed up here. Um... So these two are pretty much going to be the nice, clean, perfect looking, or almost perfect looking tractors. Um, I don't know if I'm going to clean this one up yet. I, I mean, it looks pretty decent now, so um, I don't know. Maybe I'll take like the, maybe I'll get the pressure washer out at some point and try uh, taking the pressure washer to it. But uh, I just got done waxing up or shining up rather this rim, and uh, if you guys can't tell, it looks really, really good. So I want to make like a really cool. Uh, I guess uh, compilation style video of some pictures and videos of this thing and uh, we're gonna put some music over it and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, really make this thing uh, get the spotlight it deserves so um, she's uh, she's really well known and liked on Facebook now uh, uh, every time I post pictures of this thing it just the likes and the comments just blow out of the water Which I'm not in it for the likes and the comments to be totally honest with you I appreciate all the likes and the comments on the Facebook and YouTube channel um, But to me, this is more of a hobby for fun. I, I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. I love watching or I love just you know Putting these things together doing some custom mods to make it my own, you know, like how on this one I have the shiny rims um, they look pretty much chrome now. I got the motor with the custom adapted carburetor. It just, it's my own it, and I couldn't be any happier with it. You know, you look up front here, the lights and the nose cone and everything like that. Don't mind the paint peel right there. I know it's not, this paint wasn't the greatest, but I, yeah. But we're going to make a really cool video with this thing coming up here soon. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get back to it, and I'm just going to kind of keep you guys updated as we go along here. Damn good song. 
But we're gonna turn it down so we can go ahead and talk here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little, uh, show you guys a little bit of uh, rim polishing here, 101, uh, full throttle Andy style. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the stuff I use. This is just some, this is just some cheapo stuff. Mother's mag and aluminum polish. You can just buy this at your local Walmart. It's actually pretty good stuff. As you guys, as you guys can see, look what it does to my rims. This <laughs> stuff works good. So, um, pretty much the only thing, the only part of this tractor I really haven't waxed is the footboard. So, um, like I said, don't mind this paint peel here. This is from modification for the tires. Um, but basically, what we're going to do here, excuse me, um, let's take your microfiber. Dip it in like such. I'm gonna get a little more because I like to go overboard with everything I do. And uh, you're just gonna take this and just rub it on there. Let me situate this here. There you go. Get a good old glob of this stuff and just rub it all on. This camera actually does pretty well with picking this up. So, that right there is what you want to see so it won't look as shiny. <clears throat> and here's Ferguson. Hello, Fergie. Don't look it right into the camera, buddy. I got the light on. Um, so, we want to go ahead and Grab the other microfiber, the one that's cleaner. And what we're gonna go ahead and do here, um, I don't really know if this is necessary, but uh, I found out that this actually does work a lot better than uh, just using the regular microfiber. It also appears that my light has turned off. But uh, just go ahead and start wiping her down. Um, so basically what you want to go ahead and do is just wipe this and down. Just a few short minutes later, this right here will be the end result. Anniford, a cameo from the dog. <laughs> I don't think he knows what to do here. Ferguson, Ferguson. He wants attention. Look here, buddy. I got to detail these tractors. Oh, cool. The flash is working again. Um, so I had a message pop up on my phone saying that the iPhone needs to cool down before uh, the flash will turn back on. So it appears it is now working. And, uh, yeah. Now it turned back off. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah. It is, it is looking pretty good. So I have two more rims to do. It also appears I have a slight oil leak. Is that oil? Yeah, that's definitely a little bit of oil. Um, this engine, this engine that is on here did leak some oil, but so before I put it on here, so. Um, but in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and get into what uh, what all went down on the uh, engine swap. So, like I said, we have something cool coming up with this, so stay tuned. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get back to detail in here and uh, catch up with you guys in the next clip. Alrighty, and what seems like hours later, we are finally done with the LSS-16. And uh, we'll go ahead and show it to you real quick. Boom. Yeah, I really went all out on her this time. Uh, I even went as, had, went as far as to wax the damn footboards. This thing is actually looking really good. Look at the rims. The tires are... Pretty shiny. I'm not really happy with this whole tire shine thing that I have. I don't think, I think I'm supposed to just spray it on and let it dry. I'm not really sure. It's tire foam, so I'm assuming that's what I have to do. Um, pretty, but overall, I'm pretty happy with this thing. Let's go ahead and turn the lights on. Get you guys a good shot of her here. I think it's safe to say that she's looking really good, so. 
And uh, if you guys also noticed, went ahead and dug out the uh, old pulley cover. This is from the uh, GT18. And uh, as you guys can see, it definitely looks uh, a lot more complete now. Uh, I was going to use the original one, but it doesn't fit. So there you go. Definitely uh, helps the tractor uh, complete the look. So just do a quick little walk around here. Even the nose cone. Nose cone, headlights, everything. Even the back plate in the back of the seat. And uh, that's the stuff I use. Wax, tire shine, and uh, obviously the rims are all shined up. I showed you what guys what I use for the rims. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with this thing. I don't even want to get on it now, just because it looks that good. So. I don't know about you guys, but there's nothing better looking than a SS16 fully redone with shiny polished aluminum rims, shiny tires, nice paint job and everything. It just looks so, so good. And she runs as good as she looks. I'm not going to start her up just because I don't really want to, but yeah, overall, I think she's, uh, she's ready for Dover. I'm going to take all my detail stuff with me. I got to get more, uh, microfiber tiles and stuff like that. So I'm going to take some microfibers with me, take my tire shine, take all my, uh, you know, my wax, waxing compounds and stuff like that. So, so yeah, uh, so I was going to take the 330, but, uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick. So the key's on. Um, so you can see I have no dash lights, no glow plugs, no lift pump. Uh, I don't really know what's going on. I keep blowing the 25 amp fuse that controls all that. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys over here real quick. Uh, so it's this fuse right here that keeps going out on me. Oh, wow. oh shit, I just dropped it. Well, yeah, you guys know, but... Yeah, I keep blowing the 25 amp fuse that's in here, so. Um, I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, all I know is it needs to get fixed and soon, so. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for around here. The 330's broken down, the SS16's running, the new 99 is running really well, and uh, well, I got some uh, Sooner rather than later, I'll have some updates on the uh, little ugly 12.6 for you. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a video here, and I'll leave you guys with this shot. So, until next time, guys, see ya.